Maurice M. Glazer and Glazer Financial Network presents Tax Planning and Living Abroad. To see more videos or to find out more information, please go to www.glazerfinancial.com or call 888-553-7059. I'm going to start out by passing out the uh, <laughs> 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 And I'm going to start out with this little sheet of paper. Because you're Canadian, you're just going to laugh. But the bottom line is, this is why my topic is so important. It's a lot of that, I never remember how to use it. Anyway, the reason I'm passing this out is because in my, in my profession, and what I do is planning. And if you read this, each one of you should say, wow, this is going to happen to us. And for those people in the U.S., it's going to be a disaster to say the least. I've been doing this for about, yeah, for a long time. For a long time. Uh, but I, I've been coordinating tax laws and, and doing planning forever. And I spend a lot of time reading and analyzing and trying to make, you know, try to make uh, uh, good decisions. I'm a tax planner, I'm an asset protector, uh, both, in the, and both in the estate side and in the income tax side. This is a very critical, critical year for all of us. Okay, for those who like what's going on, so be it. For those of you who don't, get out and vote. Uh, for those in, that are American citizens. Uh, and, and, then, and in this case, I think uh, Mark has done a real great job of trying to pull together information so people can make good decisions. Uh, it, it's very, very important to plan. I do what I call lifestyle planning. When I think about where we're going, too often what happens is people fall in love. Okay? Everybody knows what that is. So, you, so you, you go out there and you look out there at that beautiful bay and you say, I'm going to buy this. And then, then you, you start to say, well, gee, how am I going to pay for it? <laughs> well, there, there's all kinds of issues. But you can, before you're buying any kind of property, you have to do the planning. You have to decide what you're going to do, where you're going to do it. Uh, how you're going to support it in the whole nine yards. I have clients all over, I don't want to say the world, but I got Japan, Singapore, uh, Malaysia, uh, of course Mexico is where I got most clients, uh, Turkey, France. So I've got clients all over the world. And there's all kinds of different issues. The thing that sets me aside from a lot of people is the fact that I do my planning pretty much without uh, cost. So what I like to do is take a look at options and thought processes, try to put something together, see what we've been doing in the past, and then see what I can do to solve the problem or create a plan. Uh, I, as I said, I worked in the industry a long time. I actually started when I was 17. Uh, and yeah, I'm a, what I call a forensic tax accountant. I worked for three years with some pretty big tax cases, including one with Jimmy Hoffman and by the so I'll explain the, the story. But I, I've done some pretty intricate work in figuring out what people have done wrong. And that makes me very, very uh, compliant with the IRS and whatever including the foreign. I have to have a Canadian CPA on staff. Uh, not that he practices in Canada anymore. He's been with me 10 years. But he is my tax manager in the U.S. So I'll tell you what kind of quality guy he is. So I've got a staff of uh, 25 in Dallas, 25 in Illinois, and four down in Canyon Lake where I live in office. And uh, my son is my partner, and he handles all the uh, flow of work. 
on a lot of things. If you look at my booklet, you can see I've been written about, I've written articles on living offshore and uh, on using a, a qualified plan for, for buying real estate. You know, in the U.S., not in Canada, we can use our retirement funds, our IRAs and our 401ks and whatever to purchase real estate. And, you know, in some cases, that's all we have left. A lot of people are sitting out there saying, hey, we've wasted our reserves, now we're, you know, how can we use our retirement? <coughs> and there's options of what you can do. And the biggest cost and hindrance to anything, accumulating that worth, are the taxes and the penalties that we have out there. Life, life is, uh, uh, is pretty disastrous. And, and don't ever think that Mexico is cheaper than the U.S. or Costa Rica or any other. Actually, the cheapest country to move to would be probably Hong Kong at 17% for tax, federal income tax on corporations. So, so that would be the cheapest. Most uh, foreign countries are more expensive in their tax rates. Uh, like Canada is up a maximum of 45%. So there's you know, some real issues, and it really eats into what we're trying to do. Importance of tax savings. Hey, if you, say, you can save any portion of your tax, you're going to be way ahead of the way. Um, uh, this, this is a saying that I say, you know, planning is everything. Uh, it's interesting, I just had a case. I'm having problems with the IRS with it, my tax manager and I have been discussing. He hadn't filed in eight, nine, ten years. He, his accountant kept telling him he was okay. Now the first thing is, he's a doctor, very smart man, but stupid. Yeah. Uh, and he, he told me when I met him in New York, and my wife was with me, Caroline was with me, and he said, well, she kept telling me that she had me extended and everything was okay. And I kept sending in checks to the IRS, so I assumed I had paid my tax, and she had filed the returns, and I, everything was okay. I said, don't you realize you have to sign? I mean, you're not a 20-year-old, you're... And he says, well, and, and I don't know what the relationship is. So, you know, I can't judge what's going on. Anyway, the bottom line is, here's a man who over 10 years paid in and had refunds coming for every year for the last 10 years, except for the, one, two of the last three. Refunds. Which, by the way, he has lost everything but the last three. Because the IRS doesn't recognize refunds. Planning is everything. And I said, I finally took over the case because the accountant really is in for a lawsuit. And probably would be disbarred from practicing as an accountant. Because I, 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 I have an obligation to the, to the society and everything else to say, hey, this person does not know how to prepare tax returns. And something's going on. She's either stealing from him or something. I don't know if she's doing this bill. Anyway, it's inadequate planning. That's what we need. We need Good planning and not inadequate planning. Uh, it's our responsibility. Unfortunately, in Mexico, I was told by one of my, I have several Mexican attorneys I work with myself, not people in the country. But uh, I was told, and by, and by the way, Mexico is like 10 years behind in trust accounting or whatever. But I was told by, by this, this big attorney in Mexico City, you know, more you keep talking about planning, tax planning. That's really a bad word in the, in Mexico. They think that's considered to be fraud when you do tax planning. Now, I hope you never get there because that's all I do is plan. And right now, it's uh, August 1st. Our biggest clients, we're now starting to project where they're at, what tax are they paying, um, whatever. If you look at the sheet, you need to be planning because capital gains could go away. You know, my mother-in-law was joking about the, you know, that she just passed away again. You know, there's no estate tax. She asked me about this. So there's no estate tax in 2010 in the U.S. <coughs> and she passed away. So, you know, the good news is, you know, she had gained tax. Bad news is she's gone. But, you know, we should, we're obligated to do the plan. We're obligated to do the plan. Uh, we have to do health uh, and catastrophe plan.
thing. We have to think about the medical care. I don't know when Gordon is going to show up here, but I'm working on a lot of medical tourism ideas. Uh, we have in, in Puerto Bahia, uh, Mark has at least several of my doctor clients as, as people who are going to build homes here. And, and the, what I'm trying to do is say, hey, if I'm going to come down here regularly, I want to make sure there's an adequate infrastructure on the medical side. It happens to be pretty good, but I would sure as heck like to advance it. And I'd also like, like I'm trying to recruit Mariana, who happens to be a doctor, and say, hey, if I get a grant, some grant money, would you come to the United States and renew your medical profession? I'd like to think that we can move people to the U.S., get them trained, both for here and for the U.S. to solve some of our shortage problem. What? Oh, yeah, no, yes, Alan. Yeah, Alan over here is a doctor, too. Thank Don't you. mess to it. But. Well, I used to be well on that. And, of course, we have to do estate planning. We have to do retirement planning. A lot of things we can do uh, before the end of the year. After the end of the year, it's very difficult. Or after you're gone, it's difficult. So we have to do all those kind of planning. Thanks for watching. To find out more information on what you just saw, or if you have any other tax or lifestyle planning questions, please give Maury a call at 888-553-7059 or email Maury at mglazer at glazerfinancial.com. To see more videos and to see our schedule of upcoming webinars, please visit our website at www.glazerfinancial.com. As always, we offer complimentary consultations with a three-year tax review.